Alrighty, well, welcome back to Let's Play the Wonderful 101. Last time we completed Operation 002B. This time we're going straight into Operation 2C. And if you know the drill, it's going to be a boss fight. Alright, but we're going to the Wonderful Mart, and... Let's see. Uh, one thing I'd like to get right now is... This one. Formation charge. Unfortunately, it's a little bit costly, but we can fix that. Onto the menu. I mentioned there was a crafting item. It's the mixer. So we're gonna do this. 30 space pepper, 30 space carrots, and 30 space eggplants. He's going to give us that card over there. Mix. And down on the gamepad, we just press... Actually, I can't do it. I need to show it like this. I think it's... What button is it? X, okay. And there we go, we completed the wonderful card. Credit card allows you to purchase any single item. So this one will give us one free item from the shop. So going back there to skill, I'm gonna buy formation, formation charge. charge. As you can see, you get the option of purchasing, cancel, or using a card to get it anyway. So this one, by only a team attack button, you can charge up to three levels of formation charge. By releasing the button, your squad will unleash a powerful team attack. Depending on the level of charge, the team attack will cover larger distances, and a larger number of team members will be able to engage in climb attack at once. Pretty useful ability. You definitely want to use a card for it, because it's, it costs a lot. Okay, exit. Yeah. Finally, we can head into Operation 2C. Here's the formation charge. Well, first of all, Dogus, get out of here. Don't like it. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And formation charge. This old X. We can charge up to level three. We'll be able to go further and have more climb, more more team members climb on to us. Very useful. Alright, starting off from where we left off. Unite, whip, and... The Notorier. Target acquired. Let's get this parasitic intelligence extractor. Team, unite up! Roger! This is not the boss fight, it's just the prelude to the boss fight. Our target is the main core here. It has its own defense mechanism. The most annoying one is this. It completely blocks our ability to Unite Morph. But, eventually goes away. You can get some doggers here though. Which can help in the beginning, because, you know, you have zero possibility of doing stuff. Your mind here is great if you have Dodd's mind. Because whenever you hit the doggies with Dodd's mind, they get into recruitable in the recruitable status that they, that they have. So you can get into your team. Other than that, it's just a matter of throwing big fists here and there to pelt this stuff as much as possible. As long as you're down here, the laser won't be able to hit you. But when you're in the part close by, that's when the laser can hit you. Of course, if you jump, they will hit you, of course. Another thing you need to worry about. And I got those dogs over here as well. Only my team. And if I could do a stupid big fist, like a 50 one, make my life a lot easier. Try to dodge that. For some reason, it didn't work. I got too greedy. There we go. Bada boom 
for me, Majorie. Um, ooh, how do you say, get lost in French? Mercy! Mercy. Possible is possible when you're wonderful, baby. The enemy is on the move. Wonderful 100, our target is that giant bipedal assault weapon. Team, engaging unlimited form. Alright, so the big robot just grabbed a Kofu out of nowhere and replaced his arm. This guy is a pain. Sometimes. Sometimes it's easy. Okay, I think I can block this, right? Nice. So the platform also has a elf bar. And that goes, you go too. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I can I can wrap I can wrap this. This guy's a billion of attacks. So many, I don't think I've seen them all. Like this one sometimes doesn't even happen all the times. It's just random. Will he come back up now and blast this platform? I don't know. So yeah, we'll see if it acts nice today. If he manages to damage the platform, you can kind of heal it by wrapping around some of the points that get damaged. In the meantime, he's gonna use the sword and pelt him. You can also use the fist. Let's see if I can use the fist. Yeah. Okay, what is he doing now? What the fuck is this now? What is this attack? Okay, it's dropping one of those guys. They shouldn't have much health though. Let's see. Is this rising with a fist? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have much health. Thank you. Also, we have rising now. So yeah. Okay. Uh, but dealing with two of these guys is not really what I want. This sucks. Oosh! I was about to dodge that. I, I need to throw a sword and cut those wires. There we go. Otherwise, that's an, almost a game. I think it's a game over if you don't do that. Okay, so these guys are just plain annoying here. They have less elf than their normal counterparts. Still. See, sometimes he doesn't even summon them. I don't know what's the deal with this boss. So weird. What happened now? I don't even know what the fuck happened. Eventually, okay, this one always happens. You will get spice, of course. You're gonna use the whip. Uh, okay, I've done that. I don't know how. Honestly, this is another attack that I cannot understand how to do. You're supposed to draw a whip. And I'm not sure if you have to use A to grab that helicopter, the plane, or not. I don't think I have used the whip, but... I mean, I don't think I pressed A. Sometimes you just get hit out of nowhere. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Okay. Cool, so now, we're just gonna do this. And remove his spiky armor, little by little. Oh, jump! I thought there was another... You're not with promptly. I can't get to this. Yeah! Get fucked. He will destroy planes if you're on that plane. That he destroys. If 
fall down to your demise, of course. And you do some health. But you can jump to other place and save yourself. If you're not able to guts it. Still not enough. Still got some spikes to take it up. Oh, fuck. And then he does this. Pretty sure you can guts these things. Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe you can attack it now? Can throw him off balance? The fist, maybe? Oh, I can. This is another thing I didn't know. I thought he just had to wait there. Okay. That gets rid of his armor. The fuck is he doing now? Oh, shit. Shit! No. Fuck! Okay. That was too slow there. That was way too slow. I should have shot. If I had shot down the Kofun, I would have blocked that attack, alright. This is another attack. Again? He's doing it again? No, this is. A okay. Okay, it does that, though. Okay. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> this boss is this weird. A billion of attacks, and I haven't seen them all. I know we haven't seen them all, because I know there are some that he hasn't used so far. Man, but he's vulnerable now. So, it should be a matter of time before. He's just standing there and taking it? I'm not complaining. Need Unite Gold though. Can't do a lot without Unite Gold. Okay, he's down now. Perfect chance to regain my Unite Gold a little by little. I don't wanna I don't wanna say what his worst attack is because then if I do he's going to use it and I don't want that. Okay, should be fine now though. Because he's almost dead. There we go, he's off by now. Now he's gonna wait for the next phase. Which is honestly not that bad. Okay. This attack sucks. Because he can faint that. In the later phases of the fight. He can faint that attack and you guts and then he doesn't do the fist. And you're like, crap, I need to re-guts. I need to get out of the guts and re-guts. That just sucks ass, there's all. So he might be able to do a jump fist now, let's see. Yes, no, maybe, what is he gonna do? You're dead, man. You have no HP left. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, for that we get a bunch of money. Grab it all. And then there should be a B-Prom. Enter the robot itself. Which runs the final phase, which is honestly very, very easy. The most part of the fight is already done. Now it's just a matter of crossing this place. Throw a sword, and all you'll need to be worried about are those green goo things coming from above. Because then we will have we will have some electric wires that we'll have to dodge. Also, these this very easy platforming section. There we go. These electric wires, you don't have to dodge them. Just go out with the sword, and your leader is invulnerable, completely. You cannot get hit. Once you get to the end. Just destroy this whatever you want in whatever ways you want. I'm destroying a bunch of weapons at this point. There we go. Done.
to be your plaything. When I said toy, I meant destroy! Ah, fancy, madame! Operation 002 complete. Lost and tower communications restored. Team, you've done an amazing job against incredible odds. But now is not the time to rest on your morals. We've got a lot of data to comb through and we're going to predict where they'll strike next. Back to the ship and remain on high alert. Roger. Wonderful 100. Let's head home. Roger. Hopefully this one better than the bo the previous boss. Let's see. Okay, silver. No platinum. Hey, hey. Ah, if it wasn't for that one damage! No, was it one? Or maybe two? Oh well. Still, I'm proud of God that I got blood here on this boss, because... Again, we haven't even, we haven't like seen half of his attacks, I think. That's always how it goes. We haven't seen that faint attack I was talking about. There are other attacks that you need to block in other ways. Uh, we haven't seen half of the things that he can do, I think. Like when he's on top of the platform? When he's standing on top of it, there's a bunch of things that he can do. Uh, it's very, very a uh, complex one. Went fine this time though. And next time we'll be heading into oh, into. Operation 003. Stratoport Stratospheric Airport. See you guys then. <laughs>